Welcome back to the discussion. IT modernization requires BPM and low-code automation for lasting success, sponsored by Appian on Federal News Network. My guest today is Michael Beckley, founder and chief technology officer at Appian. I'm your moderator, John Gilroy. You know, Michael, I read stuff all the time. Just yesterday, I was reading an article on uh, the federal government needs to rethink vital cybersecurity. Also mean they have to rethink uh, military satellites and rethink, I don't know, federal <laughs> grants, you know? Yeah. You can rethink anything you want, but nothing can be accomplished without understanding this little acquisition process. So, so where do you stand on this whole idea? Yeah, I, so Appian has been helping our federal partners modernize acquisition systems and, and we've learned from that. And what we've done is we've packaged our insight and expertise in helping uh, modernize procurement and, uh, and really help automate a lot of the tedious work associated with acquisitions into out of the box solutions. And that term out of the box maybe is uh, itself a bit anachronistic for, for, uh, for, for kids who don't buy software in, in boxes anymore, but it's all packaged together into a, a, a really complete framework so that you, an automation, uh, an acquisition can be automated from end to end, not just requirements management or award management, but the solicitation as well and, and the contract writing. The process is really where each agency has their unique workflow, but there are a set of requirements from the federal acquisition regulations and the, and the DFAR that must be considered. And, and so compliant contracting has been something of a, of a um, well, an impossible challenge for way too long. And, and we think we've got the solution. Here we are in the middle of, a, middle of a pandemic here. I think this whole COVID crisis has forced federal IT leaders to take a new look at workflow processes. You know, you can't just walk down the hall and, you know, grab Michael and ask him a question. Today, we are all working remotely, 85, 90%. It seems like workflow automation is really, really one key to having people in geographic different locations work it. So I assume Appian, the whole, process can improve workflow at the same time? Can it improve operational efficiency? Oh, certainly. And, and in fact, what's so different about Appian is we've been doing that for, for nearly 20 years. Our focus has been on business process management and workflow. So when you build an app in Appian low code, what's so different is there's built-in tools for managing and monitoring the process and optimizing it for the business people. So they get built-in metrics about how their process is, is working, how long it's taking to pick up a task, where is our bottlenecks in the process and the workflow. And to get that value from Appian, unlike any of the big companies out there that you might be thinking of, the big cloud providers, uh, their value comes from when you put the data into their cloud first. Appian workflow works seamlessly with data in anybody's cloud. You can think of us like the Switzerland, but in, in your IT organization, you have Salesforce, you have Microsoft Dynamics, you have uh, your, your legacy ERP system, you have your mainframe. Appian pulls all that together. And of course, most federal agencies have to rely on some shared service from another agency. So if you're having to pull data from, from OPM or, or GSA, you know, Appian has that very, very seamless way of pulling those, in, those different data sources into one data fusion layer. The classic phrase was platform agnostic. Maybe this is cloud agnostic. Huh? That's maybe a trending phrase here. We'll see how that works out. You know, when I think about uh, automation and artificial intelligence, I think about this phrase, robotic process automation, RPA. And, uh, you know, when I first thought of it, I, I, I fell for the trap. I'm sure that maybe some CTOs in the federal government here thinking, oh boy, robotic process automation, I'll put my feet up and smoke a cigar. You know, I mean, <laughs> Let's bring this down back to, to reality, maybe somewhat close to earth, maybe at 20,000 feet. <laughs> yeah, so RPA is great. RPA is fantastic. So in the acquisition domain, for example, the uh, John McCain National Defense Authorization Act uh, incorporated some changes in contracting terms. And now your, your poor CO, your poor 1102, you've got to go find you know, thousands of, of, of places in, in hundreds or thousands of contracts where you have to update that language. Like no one wants to do that. So you can program a bot, you can script a bot that will go and find that language and replace it. All right, that sounds great. And that data is great. It can save thousands of hours and you can build that bot with Appian or you can use, you know, bots from any of the leading pure play bot providers, the RPA vendors who we partner with. But then what next? You know, to actually make that work, you have to in, in uh, if you're just buying bots, you have to actually come up with a change 
and uh, email it to the bot because the bot doesn't have a, a, a good interface for business people. And, uh, and then you got to wait for the bot to email you back a response. And then you've got to probably update that in your contract file. So you've got to go find the right file. You've got hundreds of contract files. And so the bot's a great start, but where do you go from there? And then how do you uh, automate multi-step activities like actually executing an award that takes some human decision-making but also involves some manual labor? That's the workflow we've been talking about, John. And that's what a unified platform for workflow and RPA like Appian does for you. It puts it all together. So you don't have to email bots. The system will email the bot. And when it won't email the bot, it'll use an API to go faster and do that more efficiently. And, and oh, by the way, with Appian, it's unlimited bots. So you don't have to think about how expensive it is to use a bot to do that cut and paste action. You don't have to think about it. it's going to cost me $10,000 know, uh, for, that, for that one bot. You can have unlimited bots for one low fixed fee. You know, I was surprised when I was talking to some people and they talked about some automation has uh, credentialing abilities and some systems here. It just, I mean, I, the complexity, just throwing out a, a process automation and how it can integrate with something else and worrying about multiple clouds and worrying about compliance. I just think it, it's it's almost too complex a system to try to, to, to figure out by, by a group of developers in a room trying to figure it out. So we, bots can definitely simulate humans and they have their own passwords, but those passwords will expire and those systems will update and change. So bots need to be managed in a workflow that can handle that change and handle those exceptions and allow you to decide when is, it that, when is that bot too unreliable because the systems it relies on are too unreliable. And what, you know, if you're just buying from a bot provider, well, that's all they have to give you. But with a platform like Appian that unifies bots, AI, and, and human workflow together, you can always escalate that work to a human or replace your underperforming bots with a targeted bit of intervention. You can build an API integration, you know, that direct computer to computer communication. And, th and that's what your developers and IT department are for. But what Appian does is allow you to actually collaborate and gather your best automation ideas from the business to crowdsource your automation ideas into one portal where one knowledge portal where we can then decide and measure and with the remember those process metrics I was talking about we're monitoring your processes in real time end to end not just what the bots doing but what all of your workforce is doing so that you can decide always as a leader in your agency what is the right investment I need to make and how can I keep all of my different uh, stakeholders align towards a goal. You know, it's not about cutting and pasting a bunch of contract changes into contracts. It's about getting the mission accomplished. I'd like to thank today's guest, Michael Beckley, founder and chief technology officer at Appian. I'm your moderator, John Gilroy, and you're listening to Federal News Network. For more on this discussion, visit federalnewsnetwork.com and search Appian. <laughs>